By the end of the month, their drive had carried them through the whole northwest section of the city and into occupation of part of the center, including the railroad station. On the last day of September, Hitler announced that the fall of the city was only a matter of a few days. Once more, the world was afraid a Russian campaign was lost. But once more, the Germans were to stand on the very threshold of victory and still fail. But now they were to meet a fire of fury such as they had never known. All that had gone before, the battles waged in the streets of Kiev, Rostov, Odessa, Sevastopol, these were all preludes to what happened in Stalingrad. Every inch of the city was a strategic point to be defended as such. At the end of October, snow covered Stalingrad. From the air, the Germans tried to the surrender of the Russian-held part of the city. At the same time, the battle of the streets continued. were no longer defending their city inch by inch. Inch by inch, they were regaining it. British troops had landed in and occupied North Africa. Further east, the British Eighth Army was driving westward, pursuing the vaunted Africa Corps. And in the northeast, the Red Army had launched its smashing counteroffensive. The Germans were learning the real meaning of the words combined operations. But though a spring had been released, the Russians attacked along the entire front. In the far north, the Germans felt the first impact as the Russians recaptured Schlüsselburg, breaking the Axis ring around Leningrad. Soon after, another offensive lashed out further south, bypassing the Germans' defense position at Rezev and plunging down to Veliki Luki. Still another Russian blow fell in the Voronezh area, pushing a threatening spearhead deep into the German lines. In the far south, the Germans were moving away from Grozny instead of toward it under the force of the Russian attack. 
At Stalingrad, the Germans were about to meet new opponents. Fresh reserves were arriving from far Siberia. They had been stationed there in case of trouble with the Japanese. Now these troops had been transported to relieve the embattled defenders of Stalingrad. And as the reserves entered the city, at headquarters, the commanders of three Russian armies were meeting. The Germans had fought for Stalingrad as a prize. The Russians were determined to make it a trap. Two simultaneous attacks were launched, one from the north, one from the south. The German armies encircling Stalingrad were now themselves threatened with encirclement. Finally, the two prongs met. These battle-hardened soldiers of the Northern Army and soldiers of the Southern were emotional as children as they greeted each other. They knew this meeting meant the salvation of Stalingrad and of their country. And on this Christmas of 1942, the people of the Soviet Union can celebrate with happy hearts. They have received a most precious gift from the men of their army the assurance of ultimate victory. Just as in our hometowns, it is the children's day in Moscow. It is a happier Christmas this year. Today, there are no German bombers overhead. like ourselves, celebrated on New Year's Eve, but not now. The factories are just as busy as on any other night. The moment comes. It is the New Year. Stop him, Gordon! And at the front, the greeting is the same, up to a point. Stop him, Gordon! Where are Inside Stalingrad, the icy winter becomes a fiery hell. Here are concentrated the latest in Russian equipment. Flamethrowers. Ice gliders. Used here by shock troops to capture airfields in advance of the main army. Rocket guns. Katusha, the Russians call them. Every last resource of the Red Army was thrown into a crushing offense of ultimate destruction. This was Kyle and Kessel with a vengeance, but the Nazis were getting Kessel instead of the Russians. And on February the 2nd, 1943, after 162 days of the heaviest fighting in the history of warfare, the last shot was fired. The peace came to Stalingrad. In the shattered streets, the blasted ruins, the ghastly evidence of their ordeal, 
the defenders of the city greet the rescuing army of the dawn. Stalingrad is free. The Nazis had capitulated.